So Google Sites is my favorite free website builder and it's the platform I recommend to anyone who is actually looking for a completely free website builder with no strings attached. With Google Sites, it's an unstructured page building experience similar to Wix without the Wix price point and it incorporates and integrates with various Google services with ease. And on top of that, you can set a custom domain name for your Google Site at no additional cost. Now you do need to pay for your domain name and I do recommend Namecheap for that, but Google Sites doesn't lock that feature behind a paywall in the same way that a Wix or a Squarespace does. Now one feature request that always threw me off is when people ask, can I build an online store with Google Sites? Can I add an online store to my Google Site? and so forth. Now, to be honest, Google Sites is not really meant for e-commerce. It's meant for like a personal website, a portfolio website, maybe a small business website with a few pages or a website for school or something like that. Again, it's not really made for e-commerce. But if you wanna know, can I add an online store to my Google Site? The answer is surprisingly yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my top three ways to do so. So let's get started. Okay, so the first platform I recommend for adding an online store to your Google site is Equid. So Equid stands for e-commerce widget, and it's now a full service e-commerce website builder similar to Shopify, but one really useful thing about Equid is that you can embed your storefront on other websites like WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and Google Sites. So with Equid, you get a completely free forever plan where you can have five products, whether or not you wanna have physical products or sell like digital downloads, whatever. You can have five products within your storefront once you set up your Equid account. The great thing about Google Sites is that you do have access to the embed HTML feature. So with Equid, you just sign up, you create your account, you have your storefront, you add your products and set everything up. Then you can just embed the HTML code for your storefront within your Google site. So with Google Sites, you will need to create a, like a dedicated store page or whatever you wanna call it. And then you can embed your storefront within that dedicated page and it'll showcase your five or less products if you're on the free plan. And one good thing about Equid is that the user experience is really good. So when people are on your Google site viewing your products and they go to buy, everything's within that embed on your Google site so that you're not directing anyone off your website to some random like Equid URL. On top of that, you can also incorporate something like Printful if you wanna do print on demand. So if you wanna do POD, print on demand for like t-shirts, mugs, hats, whatever, you can incorporate that within your Equid account as well. The integration is very seamless and easy to set up. So you're gonna to have to have multiple accounts to do print on demand with Google Sites. So you will need a Printful account in this example, which you then integrate into your Equid storefront, which is then embedded within your Google Sites. So overall, I find that Equid's free plan is the best option for e-commerce for Google Sites. The only downside is that when you actually start making money in sales and you wanna add in more products, then you will need to upgrade to a paid Equid account. Once you do that, it really doesn't make any sense to use Google Sites anymore because Equid is a full featured e-commerce website builder that allows you to build out a full on website using the Equid platform that is much better to Google Sites. But if you're looking for a free website builder and you're looking for a free way to incorporate a storefront within your Google site that looks great, has great user experience and allows you to drive sales and make money, then you're going to love the Equid free plan. My second option is Gumroad. So Gumroad makes the claim that you can sell anything with their platform. And honestly, they're not really joking with that. Whether or not you wanna have a free email newsletter or a paid email newsletter, or you wanna have products where you give it away for free or pay what you want, or you wanna sell PDFs or LUTs or images or some type of like video course or an audio file or a podcast, Gumroad is quite impressive because you can sell all those things on their platform. Best of all, once you upload a product, you can embed it on whatever website you want. So you can build out a full featured website with Gumroad if you want, surprisingly, I don't think a lot of people know that. You can actually do that, or you can take your individual products and then embed it on a website of your choosing. So with Google Sites, you are gonna to have to create a dedicated page and then go into your Gumroad account and then embed the product within that dedicated page on your Google Sites. And then the integration, the embedding, the whole process looks great and functions quite well within your Google Site and Gumroad combination. So what's the downside to using Gumroad? Well, the primary downside, even though it's a completely free platform, is that they take a 10% transaction fee on all sales. Now, for anyone who doesn't sell anything online, that is quite 
excessive like 10 percent is a big fee and it's one of the reasons why a lot of people moved away from gumroad particularly if you're making a lots of money so overall i do really like gumroad in that you can sell anything that you want and you can embed whatever product you want within your google site you just need to create a dedicated page but i'm not crazy about that 10 percent transaction fee my third option for anyone looking to add e-commerce functionality onto their google site is payhip so Payhip is a platform that allows you to offer digital downloads, courses, as well as coaching offers. And they offer a completely free forever plan with a 5% transaction fee as compared to Gumroad's 10% transaction fee. So it's much more cost effective and lucrative to use Payhip when compared to Gumroad if you're looking to sell eBooks, some type of coaching offer or online courses. Once you set up your Payhip account and you add in your products and services, you can easily embed those products and services using HTML within your Google site. So again, you will have to create a dedicated page for your products and services within Google site, but then you can easily embed all your products and services that are hosted on Payhip into your Google site with ease. And the checkout process looks great too. So Payhip uses a light box function. So when people are on your Google site and they go to purchase your ebook or your coaching offer, it pops up with a light box so they can make a purchase decision. So you don't need to worry about directing people off your Google site to some random Payhip URL. So if you've been looking to offer coaching, a digital download, or an online course, Payhip is a great option for your Google site. And finally, my fourth and final way to add e-commerce functionality to your Google site is to use Stripe.com. So Stripe is primarily a payment processor, but within your Stripe account, you can add in products. And once you add in a product that creates a checkout page within your Stripe account, so if you're going to go this route, what you have to do is go to your Google site, create a page. That page will become a sales page for whatever product you are selling. And then with the buy button that you can create within your Google site, you want to link to your checkout page within Stripe. So the problem with going this route is the fulfillment is on you. So there is a workaround. Like if you want to have like an ebook, you can sell an ebook with the confirmation email that Stripe provides and you can just link to say like a Google Drive link or whatever. But if you're trying to sell like an online course or a membership website or whatever, you are going to have to have the fulfillment process built in somewhere else that you share within Google. So overall for a complete beginner, it's really not the most optimal solution for selling online, but it is something to be aware of. Okay, so let me just recap everything. If you're looking to sell physical or print on demand products, you're gonna really like Equid. Equid provides a completely free plan and a storefront that you can embed within your Google sites. If you're looking for a platform to sell a wide variety of products like a membership website or a paid email newsletter, digital downloads, online courses, audio, whatever, you're going to really like Gumroad. If you want something where you can offer a coaching offer on your Google site or a digital download like an ebook, then I highly recommend Payhip because they are a little bit more cost effective than Gumroad. And Stripe, well, I don't really recommend the Stripe option for a complete beginner who's using a Google site because you do have to have the fulfillment process built out yourself. It's just something I want you to be aware of that is an option. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on can you add an online store to your Google site? The short answer is yes. And if you do, just make sure to add in your various legal pages in your footer, like your privacy policy, terms of use, uh, refunds, shipping, anything that people need to know when making a purchase decision that is a requirement of running an e-commerce website. So again, Google Sites is not really for e-commerce, but if you do want to embed products and services within your Google site, you totally can. Anyways, I'll leave it there. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.